Hi guys and welcome to another video from me, Mr. Firefox, and this is a video about the Corsair Commander Pro. Um, I've recently got one and I've been having issues with a disconnect USB error. And if you've clicked on the video, that means you've got the same thing. Now I'm going to give you three uh, methods to fix it because I have fixed mine and it's working absolutely perfectly now um, I'm not getting the USB disconnection uh, there is a lot of forums out there that say that it's this and this and this and it and it's the Commander Pro's um, firmware that needs updating and you've probably read a lot of things and because I know I did uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the methods that worked for me okay so the first method um, for getting you can try that will help you in the long run um, is your power options so in your power options we're going to go straight over to it uh where's my thing so we're going to go over it so it's power and sleep now to get to it it's really really easy you just press windows x and then you go to so if you press the windows key and then you hold x it brings up this tab here and then what you want to do is you basically just want to go to power options uh, click on power options it will bring up this section here now what you want to do is go to advanced um, um, additional power settings and it'll bring up this page now on this page you'll have one that is ticked that is your preferred power plan normally it goes off your cpu um, but it depends on um, which power plan you've got but what you want to do is you want to go to change power settings go to change advanced power settings and in power settings you will see that there is a usb setting uh, click on the USB setting then click on the extra one that comes out and make sure that this is disabled um, After you disabled it then test out your system do what you normally do before it triggers the actual flash of the Corsair Commander Pro and If it still does it then it wasn't this that was doing it, but to be honest with you Windows automatically um, says if the USBs aren't being if the USBs are not being um, used at the time to save power now if you're using a desktop you don't need to save power um, you really don't need to save power this is a laptop um, thing so you can then just basically disable that anyway it doesn't matter it's not going to affect your computer in any way so make sure you disable this now the second thing that you, uh, the second method you can do uh, which is also in your uh, thing you need to go to device manager so once again hold the windows key and press x it'll come up and then you'll have a uh, device manager device manager will pop up which is this thing here now this one um is it could this method too could be the thing that could help you the most so you need to go to human um devices and you want to click on corsair at the top and you want to go to properties go to properties and then click on power management and make sure that this allow the computer to turn off this device to save power make sure that is switched off this may solve your issue and um, because at the end of the day your computer may just be turning it off and the commander pro is then saying, sending out a signal saying uh, we was using that and then it switched back on and that's the reason why you're getting the glitch so that's done um, okay, so that was method two with two down and then there's one to go um, Now the other thing you could do is um, you could buy this thing So this thing is the Nexus. Um, it's an uh, basically it is a internal USB hub um, It also has the USB headers on it. It has four USB headers But one of them is going to be used by the device itself now it comes with a uh, Power lead that clicks uh, that plugs into a SATA power connection It's a really simple thing. I've got one in my computer as well, but I was still getting the glitch even with this thing um, So what you do is on the white one this one goes to the motherboard it's it's clearly pointed out there the MB that says motherboard so you plug the uh, connection into there then you plug it straight into your motherboard and then any of these three that are spare that will go into your commander pro now this is the um, the commander pro um, system um, which is 
kind of glitching and making that thing happen to for everybody um it's a beautiful little thing uh but this is the thing right here it's a beautiful little thing um so you can plug that into one of those three and then that could also fix your problem also guys in the iq program make sure that you've updated everything uh, make sure that everything is updated um in your commander pro um if you've got the latest iq uh, program then it's really really simple to actually update all you need to do is just click on the commander pro go down to device settings and just say check for updates make sure that is all every bit of it is updated fully make sure it's updated um also what you can do is you could go up to the top here uh, go to updates and just go check all devices and it will make sure that all of your devices are updated as well as well as the uh, the iq software as well so hopefully a little bit of a short video and just a really really quick um video to show you a couple of methods that really did work for me like my system is working absolutely perfectly now uh what we're going to do is we'll jump over here and put me on the big screen and just to see hopefully this doesn't glitch out uh but we're going to grab the camera um and like i said this is mine build so far and as you can see it is working perfectly fine the lights are working all of the fans are working and the commander pro is working as well as the rgb hub as well that is working uh perfectly fine but like i said corsair build's not finished just yet and we've now hopefully fixed an issue that we're not later on going to get through um through the through the system when we put even more stuff in we still got a cooling system to put in there and hopefully that is fixed yeah. guys please down below in the comment section please tell me which method works for you and if none of them worked for you then i'm really 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 sorry um but those th those three methods worked for me i'm not getting that issue anymore and i thought i would share it with the world so thank you very 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 much for watching this video and i will see you next time Bye for now.